So welcome back to Wix Studio, where we're going to be carrying on with our website build for available. Now, the next steps, I think, are going to be just sort of carrying on with the build of the site. We're going to go a little bit further down into the page and add in some more content. So let's do exactly that. Let's add a new section. We're going to move our cursor to the bottom of the screen and click Add Section. And for this section, I'm going to want to give it a green background to match the brand's primary green. So with that section selected, we're going to come over to the design section on the right hand side and underneath color, we're going to click and select our already saved theme color of that primary green. Now for this section, we're going to add three kind of main features or highlights that we want to kind of push towards the top of the screen to give users a really quick glimpse at what available does. So for this, we're going to need an icon, a small heading and a really small paragraph. Now I've already gone ahead and added the icons into our media. So if we click on the left hand side in media, and then site files, three icons are already here. Because the icons are white, they're a little bit hard to see at the moment, but I know that I wanna start with the middle one. So I'm gonna click and add to page. Next, I'm gonna need the small headline. So we're gonna go plus text, and we're gonna go with a heading two. We'll drag that in and I'll just paste in my text. With that selected, I'm gonna change the color to white. And I just wanna bring that size down to somewhere more like 32 maybe even 24 perfect next we're going to centralize the text make the box a little bit smaller and then move it into the middle just below the icon next we need to add the paragraphs we're going to go back to the add text we're going to click add paragraph text and again we're just going to copy and paste in our text change the color to white change the alignment to centralized and just adjust the size of the box until we're happy. I'm just gonna space these out a little bit more pleasingly and then when that's done, I'm gonna select all three. I'm gonna make sure they're nice and perfectly in the center as much as I can. So now the content's in, we're gonna create two more of these. So let's select all three elements holding shift, move them along to the left-hand side and then holding Alt, so we can just copy, we're gonna drag those to the center and we've duplicated everything. So what we wanna do now is select to change the image and we're gonna update our copy. Perfect, we're gonna do that one more time. Holding Alt to duplicate, changing the image and updating the copy. Perfect, so now we have a nice second section of the site which really briefly just touched on the three main benefits of the product. In my opinion, this section's a little bit tall, there's quite a big gap at the top and bottom. So I'm just going to move all of this just a little bit higher up and then reduce the height of the section. Perfect, so we now have the navigation bar and hero section set up. And if we scroll down, we now also have a really brief section just to help people understand what the product's about. We're now gonna go ahead and add one more section today. So let's move down and click add section. We're gonna keep this section white and we're also gonna need to drag in some more assets. So again, I've gone ahead and already uploaded these assets so we can just move over to the left-hand side, click on media, and we're gonna add in this mock-up I've made with the laptop device. And we'll move that over towards the right hand side of the screen. I think it's a little bit big, so we'll just size that down. And then we're gonna add in our copy. Just think for the sake of this section, potentially having quite a bit of copy, we're just gonna make it a little bit taller. And just make sure that that laptop is sat somewhere in the middle. So for this section, we're gonna need a heading, we're gonna want several bullet points, and then a call to action button. So let's get started with our heading. Let's drag in a H2 and copy and paste in our text. We're gonna reduce the size of this text box to somewhere around there, that looks quite nice. And move it somewhere a little bit more fitting. We'll move it towards the top. So next we're gonna have three bullet points and I'm actually gonna use some custom bullet points with a icon that I've uploaded myself. So if we go back to the media and insert the check circle, add that to the page, this is what we're gonna use for our bullet point. So from there, we're gonna go and add, again, a really small H3. We're gonna set the size to around 24 pixels. We're gonna paste in our text and just make sure the size of that text box is somewhere around the size of the text that's within it. And I actually think we're gonna make the font size a little bit smaller. This is looking quite big. 
So I'm going to reduce this down to 18 pixels. Next, we're going to go to add elements and add a paragraph text. And again, we'll paste in our copy. And we'll just move this around to somewhere that looks quite nice. So we're going to move this underneath the headline. And then I think the icon should sit somewhere in the middle of the two. Somewhere around there. So again, we're going to need two more of these. So we're going to click and drag to select all of these. Again, holding Alt two times, we're going to just click and drag to duplicate. Now the bullet point's not going to change, so we don't need to update the image. So I'm just going to go ahead now and copy and paste in all of the copy. So there we go. Now the copy's in. The last thing I want to add to this section, just to finish it off, is a call to action button. You know, just after giving the insight into what the product does and some of the benefits, if there's any users that by this point it's caught their attention and they want to sign up, it's really great to give them a call to action button straight away. So if they're interested, they can get started. So to do this, I'm going to go back to our hero section. I'm going to select the button that we've already got that's in our brand colors and that already works for the call to action that we need. I'm going to come back to the section we've just designed and I'm going to paste that in there. And then going to align it with the content on the left hand side. Make sure it's nicely spaced out. And then I'm going to select all of this content and just move it nicely to the center of that section. And there we go. So we've added a couple more sections to the site today. We have now got a hero section, our navigation bar all sorted. We've got a quick section here just to go through the three main benefits that the app can bring. And then we've got a little section here just to show a little bit of the app's UI and you know, kind of help to illustrate how this can be beneficial for people with some of the main features um, that the app can kind of provide people. And then at the end of that, we've got another call to action button just before we move into some of our next sections. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful. If you are using Wix Studio and you have any questions at all, please feel free to drop them in the comments. If there's anything you'd like me to build uh, after this, so any of the new sections, if there's anything in particular uh, you'd like to see me do with a the design, then please feel free to drop the comment below and I'll do my best to kind of reflect that in the next content. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.